One of the most annoying things to us when shooting in studio and using a seamless backdrop is lack of space. Yeah, we're always getting the corners of the backdrop in the shot and sometimes the models don't have enough space to kind of move around. Now, this usually results in additional post-processing work and I don't know about you, but for us, there's nothing more than we hate than additional post-processing work. Hashtag fix it in pre. Hey guys, it's Juan from Limit Your Media and a happy new year to you all. It's been a little while since we've been on YouTube, but we're back. Hey guys, Jermaine here and today, we're talking about the cyclorama in our new studio space. So what's a cyclorama, you ask? Standing on it. A cyclorama, or as more commonly known as the psych, is pretty much a wall with no hard corners. This is used to get that clean look of an infinite space. Yeah, and one of the biggest benefits of a psych is space. The psych gives you more space to shoot and not worry so much about the framing within a backdrop. In the past, when we used the paper backdrop, we were limited to about nine feet of horizontal space, which doesn't really allow for much movement without going off frame. Yeah, so we decided to build a psych of our own and today we're gonna break down on how we did it. Now, once we decided on building a psych in our studio, the planning process began by deciding where to put it. As some of you may know, we recently moved to another studio space and we don't have a huge warehouse space. So we figured we would use the longest wall for one side and decided we would build a new wall for this side. Yeah, we're not Linus Tech Tips or anything, but anyways, full disclosure, we have no experience in construction or building cycloramas and just spent a lot of time researching and learning online. Our first step was creating a template for the arches to be used in the framing. Now, these were two feet by two feet and in total, I think we ended up cutting about 35 yeah. for the bottoms as well as the vertical corner. We started mounting one side of the arches by bolting them to the wall and the ground using two by fours. Then we spaced these 24 inches apart where we had a wall stud. Then we constructed a frame for a new wall. Yeah, the new wall was mounted to the existing bathroom. It was drywalled and followed by its own set of arches. Next, we needed to create the arch and since drywall doesn't bend, the common thing to use is quarter inch plywood that gives just enough flex. These were full size four by eight sheets and fit perfectly into our arches. Yeah, and the hardest part of adding that plywood came in the corner where we needed to trace the shape and create these panner templates for each pizza shaped cutout. This wasn't complicated. It was just really time consuming. So if you're taking this on, take your time with this and make sure that you measure twice and cut once. Finally, once the framing was up, it was ready for some plaster. For this part, we knew we needed a little bit of help, so we reached out to a family member that does remodeling and is familiar with plastering a nice, smooth wall finish. Yeah, this was also very time consuming and messy, to say the least. All in all, I think the guys were plastering for maybe two or three days, mm -hmm. and this included several coats of plastering, sanding, and then I think it ended up with priming at the end with paint. Yeah, once that was done, we took the project over once more and got to painting. Now, if you're watching this video and you're considering building your own psych, be warned that you will have to paint it a lot, all the time, pretty much after every shoot to keep it looking pristine. Yeah, I think since it was last built in November, the psych has probably been painted at least 20 times, mm -hmm. maybe even more so, just part of it. Yeah, another aspect of building a psych that you should consider is the expense of lighting. Yeah, keep in mind that in order to create that effect of an endless space, you'll need to light the psych. And depending on the types of lights that you want to invest in, or maybe the size of your psych, lighting equipment will likely cost you two, maybe three times as much as a psych, if not more. And that's if you build it yourself. Yeah, and our psych isn't huge. So it's approximately 15 by 10 feet, and it's lit by three 300 watt LEDs that have space light modifiers. Yeah, so that's our site. It's been a lot of work building it and uh, we've had a lot of fun filming in on it and it's actually open for rent, so check it out. Yeah, if you're in the San Diego area, we'd love to have you in. Let us know if you have any specific questions about how we built the psych and I hope this video was helpful and as always, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you on the next one.
Peace.